Today's verse is Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 31. For the Lord your God is a merciful God and he will not abandon you. Amen. Dear beloved brothers and sisters, God bless you all first. Amen. And as we get into the verse, yes, the verse says for the Lord your God. Amen. So he is yours always and yours alone and you are his beloved. Amen. So that is the kind of a relationship that we need to have with our God, Heavenly Father. He says you belong to him. Amen. And as we read Leviticus chapter 20 verse 26 says that. Amen. God loves you dear people. He is the father who forgives you for everything. Doesn't matter whoever you are or whatever you did. There is always a place for you to lean on. To count on. A hand that is there to pull you up whenever you are down. Amen. To teach you to cast your net at the right place. So that there is only abundance of blessings. Hallelujah. There is more through God heavenly father through his only son hallelujah because he is the God who gives and we are there to receive amen this shows he is so merciful to us he loves us so much he is not going to just leave us as we are amen you are his and he is yours hallelujah through the apple the devil tried to tempt Eve and then there followed by sin but now you are not left alone dear beloved brothers and sisters the Bible says in Psalm 17 verse 8 keep me as the apple of your eye hide me under the shadows of your wings amen so today you are not left alone you are not abandoned God says you are watched you are protected you are guided he is not going to forsake you because of your sin you did on your past he is not a God who punishes but gives his only beloved son Jesus Christ for us to show his love to show his mercy so through Jesus God is more closer to us more intimate to us intimacy is the love and relationship between you and your God amen it is giving and receiving hallelujah so the lord is the giver and you are the receiver amen remember jesus never came to be served but to serve hallelujah so today through jesus there is abundance of grace and mercy flowing in your life we all know paul right in bible not just as a character but a man of god himself paul wrote the book of philippians and Philippians is, is the chapter that says more about happiness, joy, joyfulness. Amen. And when you read Philippians chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, Rejoice in the Lord always. We're in the Lord. So there is only happiness through Christ. Amen. As the verse continues, I, it will say, I will say it again. Rejoice. Amen. So now, you know where did Paul write this? Paul wrote this book in the prison. Amen. Hallelujah. So what I'm trying to say here is Paul was not alone in the prison. It was God heavenly father there with him. He was not left alone. There is joy right now. Gladness and mercy from today onwards because your God is a merciful God and he will not leave you alone. You are not abandoned. Amen. God is there with you in spite of whatever situations you are. God says that you're not left alone. There is going to be happiness, joy, gladness in your place right now. You are going to experience that. Amen. You expect to get something and that is going to happen in the name of Jesus. Your wants are going to be satisfied and it is satisfied. There is more provisions. There is more mercy and more mercy and grace in your life. And you're not left alone because God says you are his and he is yours. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you, my master, for this beautiful day that you have given us, Lord. Lord, we believe that we are not left alone, Lord. Your love overflows. There is a lot of grace and mercy in our life, my Lord Jesus. You care for us, Lord. We are not alone, Lord. We are protected. We are watched over so that we are guided in the right path, Lord Jesus. You will, you will hide us under your wings, Lord, so there is protection, my master, and we will explore your love more and more, Lord Jesus. Thank you for teaching us, Lord. Thank you for making us to read your words, Lord, for more, for to understand who you are and who we are in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being us. Thank you for that, for that intimate love, Lord Jesus. We belong to you and you belong to us, Lord. We are yours, my master, and you are mine, Lord. 
Amen. Lord, the devil doesn't have any authority over our lives, Lord Jesus. We are safe, we are guided through your mercy and through your love and through Jesus Christ. There is only abundance. We believe that this day is a blessed day and Lord Jesus, we believe we are forgiven. We are washed by your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day, for this blessing right from today for the rest of the days in our life, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask this prayer. Amen. God bless you.